you are not receiving any calls from your employer you are getting stuck in the loop of completing your courses but no calls no updates and you are applying for multiple job roles but nothing is happening you are clueless what to do and your mentor is also not with you you are trying your job search journey all by yourself with whatever the knowledge that you are knowing till now if you are that person and there are a lot of reasons even if you have seen my linkedin post and coming here i am i'm just continuously posting about the facts what's happening in the market today how you can receive more calls with a lot of screenshots proofs i'm trying to educate you all so but this video is specifically for someone who is really struggling to receive calls and you are not able to find out what are the great project ideas that you can get and avoid working on some online projects and try to work on some unique projects all by yourself and move it on so i'm grow i'm going to break this video into two halves 10 minutes and 10 minutes this 10 minutes is going to i'm going to talk about the problems um the why you are not receiving some some calls what are the other reasons how market is actually trying to see you this is what i'm going to speak to you in the next video probably one day later i'm going to address about the project ideas because again it will take 20 to 30 minutes of time to explain it in a proper way maybe i can also show you some demonstration that's a good that's a that's a plan which i have but i'm just going to break this into multiple segments okay i'm recording this on um 12th uh, august 230 this is the time now but i feel uh, whenever you're watching even in future 2024 and even in future this method is going to be really helpful for you uh, whatever this problem is going to be consistent but uh, the next video is what i'm going to give it to you try to apply it this will be definitely helpful for you even in your future so without any delay let me share my screen i have made a presentation for you and uh, please do not forget to subscribe this channel and uh, you can click on the bell notification too so that even in future whatever the updates i'm going to give it to you it is going to be notified to you all okay so i'm sharing my screen here hope my screen is uh, visible to you all just give me a minute yeah so the project ideas in 2024 and even in future this is only for data scientist i'm targeting okay this is going to be part one uh, i am not more uh, entertaining uh, uh, data analyst related works because the main reason is i'm as i'm saying the works of data analyst is getting automated by many ai tools and many organizations are uh, really selecting very minimal data analyst for their work so that is what uh, my my focus is on teaching you all where there is more job opportunities in the market okay so there are multiple reasons why i am not focusing on data analyst but even if it is data analyst i try to come up with some ideas but with respect to how market is treating that's how i am just reflecting it here and providing more contents okay where there are more already the job market is less so from this less job opportunities when you zoom out when you put a lens or uh, and see where are the more job opportunities that's where i am able to speak so that you can find more job opportunities here so particularly this problem and but this problem is common for both data analyst and also data scientist but the project ideas in the next videos maybe it would help data analyst and data scientist but more results data scientist people are you are going to get so do not skip this watch this completely so part one as i have already said i'm going to address one problem okay some problems why you are not receiving some calls okay so the first thing is eight challenges faced by fresh graduates in it and even if you are having career transition or anything so what is the problems that you are facing that's what i'm going to address quickly first point okay over supply of graduates in 2024 and even in future in early 2000s uh, or late 90s there were only less graduates that's what the point here i had just too many graduates entering the job market because of this today anybody can study anybody can take educational loan everybody every every nooks and corners there are engineers there are uh, people who studied bsc some or the other degree everybody are doing it so there is over supply of graduates second points there is a you need to understand just because you have completed your engineering or any Thing, you are not an engineer or any UG degree. You are not an engineer. You are a graduate. Understand the difference. There is a big difference between graduate versus engineer. Graduate is someone who completed the degree. Okay, but uh, so uh, degree. But engineer is someone after completing the degree. If you just hand over an electrical bulb, you should be able to find out what are the internal details are by doing. He can do any work related to whatever the degree that he studied. But are we, including me, I am saying I am an EC grad. i am able to work on satellite related communications no 
I've studied a book which is all which was already outdated and was written on two thousand early two thousands, and I'm giving examinations very late, fifteen years to sixteen years late. I'm giving it, so I'm already studying an outdated book, and there is no I can I so I'm just a graduate. Okay, you all are just a graduate. Engineer is someone who is coming out from the college. If you hand over any core related work, he should be able to do it. That's why your fathers or your your previous generation, if they have studied, they are the real engineers. Okay, that's what the second point. And lost trust in freshers, meaning most of the employers, they have already lost trust in freshers. Why? Because employer skepticism towards hiring fresh graduates or getting they are just so skeptical. Because most, let me just stop sharing my screen and come back here. The main reason why they are skeptical, I would like to address it here. All right. So uh, you are a fresh graduate, and as there is lot of enormous supply into the market, um, there are many who are applying fake experience and going over the door, though, though they are a fresher, and uh, for freshers, they are. They are only bookish related person. If they are giving a complex uh, problem to them, they are they are really stuck. All right. So as they are really stuck, they are uh, they need to be trained more properly. Not every graduates are uh, trained properly. So you are thinking in today's world that someone will hire you and train you inside the company. That century has gone. Now today, because the enormous supply again, India is number one in the population. So because of and everybody are studying today, because of this, it is becoming very challenging for someone to get into the industry. And this person, when you are going to the employer, if you just go says, ah, "Sir, I have completed my engineering. I have completed this. Give me job." Nobody is interested to interested to give it. Rather, if you go to the employer saying that, "Sir, I have completed my uh, completed this. Worked on this. These are the challenges I've I've done. So this is what the, this is where we match. You can you can spend very less time on me." I will be able to do it so which means you have already implemented with that proof social proof you are going here so if you are watching this video maybe that social proof you have seen me maybe even in google youtube or in uh, linkedin or in instagram you are seeing me lot of social proofs i'm trying to give you that's why you are listening to me or else why would you listen list there are many people who are already speaking about lot of stuff right if you are listening here i'm trying to give you some social proofs what is the social proof that you have worked on this and going to the employer for even an internship opportunity Okay, that's what the real fact. Okay, let me move to the next two point really quick. That is the fourth point. The company is already they lost trust in freshers. That's why you are not receiving much of the calls. So fifth point. Doubt on work ethic. So because what happening is, see, this is a very important point. Real time internships can help, but showing previous. Pre-solved internet projects breaks their trust. The point what I'm trying to claim here is again. Let me stop my screen. In the name of internship, whenever you're studying, you're getting a certification by working on some internet projects, and your institute where wherever you're studying, you're getting internship projects in your hand and having a very big hope that that the employer will give you a chance by considering this internship opportunity, where that project itself is available openly in internet or in Kaggle or YouTube. Really, have you done this internship? What is the work? Is what is the something you have worked? And even in this inter internship project, what are you showcasing? Not everybody have worked on it. Your partner has worked on it. Your team person, other person worked on it. You just added your name here, and you say that there is no jobs in the market outside. Really? Okay, that is a fixed fifth point. Let me move to the next point quickly. Sorry, that is the fourth point I have addressed. Fifth point. is a uh, very important that is uh, outdated skills so you do not know what are the skills that is really required and for for example let me ask you a question so if you want to become a data scientist what are the skills that the employer expects this passes passes now and give answers your goal is to become data scientist what are the skills that employer expects pass this you will list on only machine learning deep learning and nlp but there are lot of other skills have you done this job search survey Or how many people are expected? What? Where is your notes? Where is the analysis report? Where is your timesheet? How many hours you are spending for this research? Nothing. Just simply applying for jobs, simply doing it without any track, no discipline. So you. That's why you never know what are the. Sorry, this is the fifth point basically. There are nine challenges basically already. So that is the main problem already. So skills learned are often not aligned with the current industry needs. So you you're learning some skills which was expected in 2020, and you are showcasing in 2024 and in future. So that's why you need to showcase the skills or the points which is really really needed in the industry now. Many are missing it. Next two point is lack of portfolio. That is no substantial portfolio on LinkedIn to showcase your skills. In LinkedIn, nobody are talking about. Well, only few I'm able to see. Only few are actually showcasing. But in LinkedIn, nobody is talking or initiating about what are the things that you worked and you can actually benefit your employer. You need to talk about things what you can because that that is your target audience. 
so i am speaking to you understanding your my target audience or your consumers where how to get placed that's what i can speak to you right and sometimes i'm i'm, I'm also giving some project ideas so that you can work on it so what is it something you are giving to your employer day 1 by 100 i've learned the sql basics course what is this is that really your employer needs that's what i'm going to give some ideas not to worry if you're really stuck get got stuck there sixth point is conventional learning studying like others without any practical differentiation so just by learning bookish just like how exactly you given your examination in your college the same thing for just for sake of certification you you studied some basic mcqs and you completed it without any practical experience when i give a con concept logical part to you you will never know how to solve it okay and next to no achievements no none of your resume is having any achievements related to the goal what you are actually data scientist what is the recent achievement that you have done with us lack of notable achievements or recognition and uh, last point outdated projects you are keeping some projects that's what in 2019 when early 2000 what are the projects that it's showcase that's what the projects that you are working here one of the major issues presenting outdated projects i would like to end this presentation i'm i'm thinking that 10 minutes is done but i will be giving this one uh, example real time interview experience example and i'm going to um, in this session all right so let me stop sharing my screen the part two is step by step guidance okay not to do worry so there is one a person who's known uh, in my circle he attended one interview in 2021 i guess all right and uh, Yeah, twenty twenty one or twenty twenty two. I'm not sure. But this person, when he this he attended, uh, he went with uh, his resume, and this person uh, looked into the projects, and this chance is given. Understand, chance is given. He has put uh, car price prediction project. Okay, car price prediction, and this interviewer asked him how many internship with internship also he is going over car price prediction. Okay, inter interviewer asked him how many months have you worked on this. he was instructed to say to say between 2 to 3 months so he said a 3 months sir are you fooling me really if i just go and put it on internet don't you think i will get thousands of 500 500000 projects based on this in calculate is there please go do not waste my time and they educate and that's when his mind is getting open after investing 8 months or 6 uh, to 8 months of studies in a, in a course or whatever it is and this is what it is happening okay so try to understand uh that's why i say collaborate with your mentor uh from if you have already paid or anything so that because right guidance is what all you need if you are really stuck in your making a career per start or career transition from any background into the field of data science all right it is really really important so in this video i have addressed the problems why you are not receiving any calls and uh, what are the major uh, issues here and I, i feel if you have connected with whatever the, the things that you have listened you can just drop your learning points below to this uh, video i would be really reading everybody's learning points and I, if you are sharing i feel that i would like to produce more contents like this to help you all at least from this youtube channel to move from one phase to the next phase okay i'm really wanted to see whether this is actually helping you or not so please do share among your friends if they are really stuck in this particular path uh, Um, but in the next video as promised i would be giving you the project ideas how uh, you can try all by yourself all right but if you are really in need of any guidance or any uh, anything i am leaving our team support teams contact number in the uh, description box below you can just reach out to them or if you would like to talk with me and get things clarified one on one get with them get in touch with them they will send you the form and everything you can register and uh, based on my time schedule i will also speak to you one on one okay wish you all the best Share your learning points. We'll meet again in the next video. Bye.